Hello friends, welcome to this lecture of Computer Organization and Architecture. In this lecture, I am going to tell you about register. What actually the register is and how important the register is in the working of uh, basically uh, in the working of the microprocessor. There are various, various kind of the registers are there about which we must understand and must have the knowledge about uh, how they work actually fine. So what are the various registers? Let us talk about that. So registers. So register is basically it is a temporary temporary memory which is used to store some important information during during arithmetic and logical operation performed by a performed by a microprocessor and computer fine so it is a very very important definition that we you have to remember that register is a temporary memory first and foremost thing is that register is a temporary memory fine the second thing that you have to remember is that register as a temporary memory basically stores the important information that is necessary during the arithmetic and logical operation performed by the microprocessor arithmetic and logical operation performed by microprocessor in a computer fine so there are various kind of the registers available in microprocessor of a computer so what are they let us check them so if i say the types of registers types of registers and microprocessor so there are two kinds of the micro registers here what is the general purpose register one is a general purpose register and one is a special purpose register special purpose registers so what are the various general purpose registers available so there are these include b c d e h and l fine so these are the basic general purpose register available in microprocessor so b c b c d e h and l sometimes they also occur in pairs fine they occur in pair like b c d e h l fine so we will check it in microprogram fine so what are the various special purpose available to us so there are two kinds of the special purpose registers available to us one is user accessible the register which are directly accessible to the user fine so user accessible and another is the non user accessible non user accessible fine so the various user accessible registers available in the microprocessor include accumulator
flag you can say flag register flag register third one is PC that is program counter and last one is SP that is stack point fine so accumulated in flag are basically when we talk about accumulator of flag they are basically 8 bit registers fine and when we say PC and SP they are basically 16 bit registers fine the non-user accessible registers that are available that are available with us in microprocessor include trap intr latch right so these are the non-user accessible registers find trap intr and latch and they basically consider under uh, interrupt that is externally uh, initiated uh, the externally initiated uh, you can say uh, they are considered under externally initiated pin fine so these are the various non-user accessible register let us discuss the details about accumulator flag register PC and SP fine it is very very important so So let us move to the first register that is accumulator. Fine. The first register as accumulator. The first register as accumulator. Fine. So accumulator is that kind of register which is used to which is used as uh, you can say which is used to contain one operand one operand during some arithmetic and logical operation so whenever some arithmetic or logical operations are performed one operand is basically provided from accumulator fine you always remember that for example uh, we will talk it about later in our class uh, in our lecture that Suppose if I simply write this instruction as add, fine. If I add uh, simply two register, uh, I simply say R1, fine. It is a basically a simple micro instruction add R1. So what actually it implies that uh, it implies that one operand, one operand will come from register R1 and one operand will come from accumulator fine ac stands for accumulator fine and r1 stands for register some another some other register so during this operation one operand is coming from accumulator and after adding the valid data stored in accumulator and register we obtain the result and that result is again going to be stored in accumulator fine so this is the idea of this operation fine even though if i write the instruction something like that add or you simply say if i want to perform an operation like multiply fine suppose it is subtract uh, it is uh, suppose add i am performing the operation as add and uh, it is R1 and it is R2. What does it implies? It simply implies that 
one operand will come from register R1, one operand will come from register R2, and after adding the values of two register, the final value will be ultimately stored into accumulator. Right? So the idea is that basically that whatever the result we have uh, 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 during the arithmetic and logical operation that is going to be stored in accumulator and if there is no uh, register available here as a second operand at that time the value for the second operand will come from the accumulator itself. So that is the idea of the accumulator as a register in microprocessor. Let us now move to the next register that is that is flag that is 